Are you looking to turn your business into a data-driven powerhouse, even if you're still using Excel? In this video, I'm gonna run through two AI-driven workflows that will revolutionize how you process your data. We're gonna extract insights from inside Excel and then create a chatbot that lets you interact with your data like never before. So we want to get insights from Excel. So a client I'm working with, they've got all this information and they've got a sheet for each day of the year. So this is the game data for 2024, but it's hard to garner insights out of it. So what we've done is we've created two basically workflows, one to extract the information from the spreadsheet, the relevant information, and then one to sort of chat with the data and, and get insights. So. The first part of call is this data warehouser, as I've called it, data warehousing. At the minute, we just run this manually for a certain sheet, but what that does, it uses an agent to go and read the, the data from the spreadsheet, specify a structured output for, for the data, and then return that in a big list. So we've got basically column headings, and then what we wanna do, there's tables under each headings, and we wanna start pulling the data out for each heading that we find because the headings could be dynamic. There could be three or four pieces of information we want to look at on the spreadsheet. Or for example, one that we're processing that I've been testing with, they've got 36 records in that sheet. So it's dynamic. So we want to be able to then process it for how many key pieces of information. So we loop over everything. We're using the open AI chat model. So for this, I'm just using 4 for the processing across both agents that we use. And then the agent that extracts the actual results, once we're looping through the sort of the key headers, we're going to the results again. And what we do is we actually, this first sheet, we actually look at column A, where the data is stored. And then we're looking at the same sheet again, but a lot of the collations done from column W onwards to the end of the sheet, where it does a lot of functions, it's got formulas, it collects all the data, it does a lot of calculation in the background, but then the results are displayed further on the sheet. So we want to then start passing that information out from further on in the sheet. So we do that, and again, we're just using the structured game data. So that just basically gives us a JSON format showing us this is the information, the, the name, loops through sort of scores, loops through extra information, gives us sort of an overview of that little table. Then what we're doing is storing it into a pinecone vector store, just using OpenAI again. So the embeddings, I'm just using three small. I'm just using recursive text splitter and sort of the default document loader where I just basically want to put the JSON in and I want to be able to filter on the date that the, the information is for. So as I mentioned in the spreadsheet, each each sheet within the Google Doc is related to a, a, day, of, a day of the year. So we want to basically record that if we want to start doing some more filtering. Once we've started processing this and you're starting getting data in for each day, and then you continue to populate every day this runs and, and warehousing, you can then start actually chatting with the data. So the next sort of workflow to do this is a simple chat agent inside N810 as well. We get a chat message. The tools agent will actually process the information. So again, I've got a system message that gives it, con gives it context, that it knows what it needs to do, what tools it's got access to, and then also you get passing in saying, right, this is the data and this is the date we're actually processing for. Again, I use the OpenAI chat model, so I'm on 4.0 again. Embedding three, small. This one uses a memory buffer as well, so it has a, keeps a history of the chat. So if you're trying to query data, give me the data for this month, then I want it down by week, and then I want an average for the quarter and things like that. So it's got, it's got information around that. Again, this is the answering the questions with the vector store. Going back to the pine cone store again that we've, we're populating the data with. And again, it's just using 4.0 as the, the, the chat model. And the cool thing about this, what I've also done for the client is I've set up a chatbot for this. So you could give them a link that they can go and start chatting with this information. But I've actually created a little React website that you can just basically put in a link to this chat URL that this will give you. Secure this information as well so you can lock this down so, so you care about privacy and then you can give it a little bit of information and you can start this new new conversation. And it's a case of just clicking that. Hi, what insights can I help you with? And you can start chatting 
with your data. So it's a real simple way and a quick way for you to start extracting information from Excel. If you're doing it repeatable as well, so it's the same format for each time you've got a Google Doc, a spreadsheet, a worksheet, the information's in the same structure. You can start pulling that data out on a daily basis, filling up your data warehouse. And now with the AI, it's very, very simple to set up this workflow to then just chat with the data and get and garner insights and find out about your business and be more data driven. People are trying to test things and see what works, and then they need to look at the data to, to validate whether that's right or wrong and then move forward and improve. Hope you like this video. I've got another one showing you how I've been able to replace all my virtual assistants with a single AI agent that does all the similar tasks for me.